In the mystical fantasy realm of Osrin Omega 419, there lies a small town of Asari within the elven country of Amirius. It is now 4993 of the Fourth Era, and over the course of the last year, heroes from across the continent have traveled to Asari in search of adventure and the rewards that come with it. Some retired, some were broken, and some have died. But those who remain are those whose stories are written in the annals of the Osrin Tales. Starring Rachel. I'm Reshi, the Dragonborn Monk, and I just got my wings. Chad. Hello. I'm Quothe, the Goliath Barbarian. I have IBS. Sangretti. I play Hale, the Cobalt Wizard, and his familiar pages as we work on our quest to create the Grand Library. Jobis. I play Lord Zaldin Khan, an Oathbreaker Paladin who likes to dance with the dead and has a carrying sight, too. And Genie Bra. I'm Genie Bra, and I play the half elf bard Rowan Janae. Don't let me charm you with my mystical powers. One more, and you choose the take. I'm okay with the IBS. <laughs> Jeff, I apologize right now in advance for anything that he says. <laughs> I apologize, and I love you, and I hope that your life is better. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maurice. And we're live with this next episode, episode seven of the Austin Tales live D and D, welcome in, everybody. A little bit of a late start. Had some technical difficulties. Had to do some scene building again, but uh, we're here. We're we're ready for this episode. Um, like I said in the uh, recap, there we had a little bit of a uh, we had a little bit of a Groundhog Day thing happening last week so i hope you guys are all ready to die and then die and then die again and again and again and again <laughs> what a lovely day <laughs> i do I mean, believe are, i mean are we really scared of jeff by now i mean everything we thrown at him after this week i'm fine with it then the ad just rolls into it and... oh I'm so i'm so getting killed this session <laughs> oh, listen here you <laughs> <laughs> we uh so here we are uh you guys are at ye olde ziggurat uh, where we last left off, our players had been separated. Rowan was like, you know what? If it's a time loop, pff, I can do whatever I want. And he just ran away. <laughs> this is true. And uh, so you guys, uh, you, es you escaped the time loop this time. <clears throat> but noticed that uh, the edge of where the time reversal was was like 20 feet away from where you guys were standing. Like you just missed getting looped back into this. Um, So we're going to start with you guys, Rowan and Reshi. You guys are a couple yards, you know, maybe a couple dozen yards in into the tree line um you can see the path i think you know rowan was hiding so you're probably not on the path but you're not far off the path that leads back to the temple grounds 
And you guys just saw a bird reverse through time and an acorn that it had been, like, munching on fly back up into a tree. Um, when you guys see that, what are you, what's your first reaction? What do you guys... How do you guys uh, react to all of this? I'd be like, what the fuck? Did you see that? Uh, well, it's what? just the two of them, isn't it? Oh, right? yeah, he was high. I forgot. Yeah, Rowan's yeah he's he higher than a kite. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and it was just um, the two of them. Well, you... I just saw something reversed in midair, and I'm not stoned. So. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stoned either. <laughs> Well, I'm heading back, so if you want to go with me, you can. Unless you have a better plan, that's fine. I'm. That's my plan is to go back. Why don't you just we, we you just hang out here? Where I'm, I'm gonna do some of these, some of these shards. <laughs> like smack it out of his hand. <laughs> no. <laughs> I look. I don't know if you remember, but this this thing, I could do this forever. <laughs> <laughs> the big, the, the that's big true. Thing. What what is like a what was a crystal about the size of my fist? As you smack it out of his hand and it hits the ground, it reforms into a shard about the size of this glass. <laughs> Good God, I'm just gonna shake my head and be like, "All right, fine, I'm going back." Wait, 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 wait. Guess what? What? I don't know. I really thought you were going to say chicken butt. Oh, I got him. Can't with you. I can't. I can't. I've got to go back and I help them. Oh, Okay, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. All right. I'll go with so you. So we're heading back towards whatever is happening. What if I we mean, like tie a rope to a tree and then we could find our way back? I don't know. It's not a labyrinth. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's the, a time, the loop. time loop is over there. So what if we just are like we know that the time loop's over here, or it seems that way, that it stops, so we could just find our way back to getting out of it. I mean, I mean, I'm not wrong here, right? <laughs> uh, it's a theory. Okay, I think I have that in my pack. pack all, I think. If it's like the original Groundhog's Day, we're going to have to come with terms that uh, Jeff Falsham's the best. And once we accept this, the Groundhog Day ends. That was the whole moral <laughs> of the story. That once you accepted your again. circumstances... And didn't fight it, and looked for the good and everything. Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day ended. What's an explorer's pack? Isn't there yeah, a that's not it? what's going on here. <clears throat> you already know I am the best, so why would that be the <laughs> moral of the out, story? If you have an explorer pack, I think it comes with like the fifty foot of rope or something. Yeah, like that. yeah it comes with it rope. comes with fifty feet of rope. You're a few dozen yards outside of the temple grounds so okay it's not so, long enough but if i leave it because i'm close to where the thing is right so if i tie it to something and then leave it wherever i can mm -hmm. then i can come back to it true it doesn't have to go all the way with me that's very true okay so that's what i'm doing i'm okay. tying my you really tie it to a tree and then like leave yeah. it on the pathway yeah, just wherever. I'm just going to pull it with me as far as I can into the weird gotcha. fucked up area. Okay. Um, so you you tie your rope to a tree and head back towards the group. Um, you get 50 feet before having to like set the rope down, and then you travel the other couple dozen yards back to the temple grounds where uh, you find uh, your other three cohorts... Uh, Tail and Quothe and your new friend, Lord Zolden Khan, um, kind of looking around a bit startled, like patting themselves down. Like, did we just like, we're still alive, right? <laughs> it's kind of like the, the mood <laughs> that, uh, is that the group is having. 
uh, the three of you kind of hear some rustling from behind you, and when you turn and look at to what's going on, you see a uh, very in- inebriated Rowan and uh, Reshi kind of pulling him by the ear like a like a bad kid. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, if you guys remember, you had opened a portal uh, by solving a riddle, and uh, that portal took you to some sort of uh, metallic interior, like chamber, uh, with all these weird glass screens with arcane symbols flashing in red on them. And Quothe just face rolled some buttons, uh, which caused the you to start flying around the room uh, as from the outside the ship that you were on was spiraling out of control Um, and then in a big fiery explosion that ended in a flash of white you were back uh, just at the entrance of the temple grounds but we remember everything what we did prior to that right? yeah you remember everything okay then Zoldan will will turn to Tail and he's gonna say um, my little dragon friends Maybe we should try reading that elven script again, but we leave the big man here and just the two of us go through the portal. Asshole. Uh, <laughs> Tail is going to turn to Reshi and then point at Quothe and say, hit him, and then just trudge through the field <laughs> to go back into this. I'm going to stay as busy as hit him. Remember what happened last time. I'm not going to hit the guy. I don't want to get killed by him. Yeah, but that was the sword. Says yeah, your consciousness. <laughs> I'm scared to hit him. In a 5 one one situation, I'm pretty sure we can take him, but I don't think we need to get into that fight right now. <laughs> hmm. I just don't want him to start rolling the buttons again. Right, I, want, yeah. I, want, I want five seconds before we start hitting things. <laughs> Um, as you turn to walk back towards the temple, you see it, it, the the scene has changed a little bit. the The actual um, like temple looks the same, temple grounds look the same, but instead of being like forty feet tall and still kind of that lithe, sexy version of Drazan, Drazan's now like. 50 feet tall and way more muscular. His horns are thicker. His claws are longer. His wings don't have as many tatters in them. His tail has like spikes down this, you know, like the spine ridge of his tail. He looks like he's getting more powerful. And as he looks like he's getting more powerful, the Sphinx now looks instead of being like 35 feet tall uh, or long. Cause you know, it's a, it's a cat. If it were to stand on its back legs, it'd be like 30 feet, 35 feet tall originally. It's now looking like maybe 25 feet at the most. Maybe even closer to 20. <clears throat> I thought when we came respond, we respond back in the same chamber with the statue. No, you spawn back at the temple grounds. Back at the entrance to the temple grounds in general. Oh, okay. <clears throat> So you're just at the edge of the forest. So there's like a, imagine like a stone archway with like elven script and stuff on it. Um, Like you're that right at the edge of the forest line. That's where you guys start every single time. I feel like fighting Zidane is not a good idea, but like, I don't see us having a choice out of this unless we take my rope. We saw that before. It's not a problem. It'd be Mm -hmm. huge. Well, I, what I was thinking is right now, since we're, in, I thought we were in the chamber, but since we're out in like the forest line again, Zelda would have added like, maybe like, if I could pick up Tail if he wants to, and we can, the two of us will fly to the entrance. I'll, you know, fly us there. If that would be possible. And go through the portal again. What do you think? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm reading the description of a spell right now. This is no time for book learning, kid. 
Um, I mean, tails sit tails distracted by a book. What do you do, Zoldan? Um, he's just well, walking, he's head down, nose in a book. He's just walking towards the temple. Um. Okay. Well, if he he said initially he was walking straight for the portal, so I'm gonna assume that's it. So I will. Uh, I'll pick him up and we'll start flying towards the entrance where we, you know, entered the temple. So they. So yeah, Sangreda, your tails reading reading the spell as he's heading across the lawn towards the temple. He just gets scooped up by the armpits and flown towards the temple. So uh, what are you? What are your plans when you get in there? What what so is Tails' plan? I mean, Tails' really plan like... is to to learn and read. Um, okay, but uh, Zoldan, what is your plan? Well, get back to this. You know, we were in a ship or some place with controls, some place with controls, and um, get back. See if we can get back to there to maybe control what we were in. Maybe it's the answer to this. Okay. You know, thing that repeats us. You know, the time repeat. Um, so as those two are flying towards the temple, what are the other three of you doing? I'm Both hey, Reshi, to... Rowan. I'm gonna head that direction. Obviously, I can't go as fast as he is, but I'm gonna try and head that way also. Just because I feel like maybe we can all stick our heads together and figure out how to fix it. I mean... If it's even a solution. You can run almost as fast as he can fly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Reshi can. So I'll, I'll yeah. just run that way then. I'm gonna stand mid in a corner, upside at Jovis or uh, Zoldan in Saint Tail. <laughs> is your IBS kicking in? Is that the problem? Yeah, Quothe's IBS is acting up. Before I get out of range of Quothe, since Tail is still mad at Quothe because he didn't get to read, um, I'm gonna use Prestidigitation to make it smell like rancid shit right in front of him. <laughs> nice. I'm going to enjoy every second of it. I like it. <clears throat> um, so you guys, uh, I guess Reshi, Zoldan, and Tail, um, y'all make it uh, back inside uh, the temple here. Um, <clears throat> in which case okay, that uh, I'll put Rushy on the map. Uh, you see, um, that uh, the temple is back to this uh configuration where uh the well of light in the middle there. Um, is not activated. The stone, uh, Sphinx is not, uh, activated either. <clears throat> How did y'all activate it before? Or was it activated already? Uh, there's an inscription on the Sphinx. Oh, yes. right. Okay, yeah. I remember. <clears throat> A simple inscription in Elfish. Um, the, ins the inscription is still the same. So you say the elven words and the, the, uh, the Sphinx, uh, wakes up again. And, uh, he's, he's, he's surprised to see you here. He's like, oh, you're, you're not who I was expecting. <clears throat> I asked him, do you not remember us? We were just here a moment ago. He says, I've been asleep for it seems like centuries. I do not recall any. He kind of looks, kind of squints at you, dragon esque, dragon, dragon kin. That's the word I'm looking. For. You'll have to excuse me. It has been a long while since I've spoken to anyone. <clears throat> um, I can't remember what. It uh do you know anything about a time loop spell or do you remember anything before you fell asleep 
because it seems to be something that's happening. It appears to be something that's happening right now. Ah, well. I don't know anything about a time, say, loop, uh, but uh, this is a chrono temple guarded by the great chrono sphinx. Mr. Sphinx is having some trouble with a guy, and they asked us to come in here and do something with the portal. Ah, yes. That's the portal. <clears throat> he says, uh, to activate the portal, you must answer this riddle. <clears throat> um... <laughs> I I've I've made my way inside. I'm actually I, I want to come around this corner here, okay. and just just kind of stumble in, and then and just be like, "Hey, <laughs> big cat thing, you want to do some drugs?" I'm gonna roll my eyes and be like, "This is uh, <laughs> it is oh yeah, an elf. That this makes much more sense now." Are these your cohorts, Elf? I don't I don't know I don't know what that word means. Um Okay. <laughs> um Where did I write down this? Uh, oh, there it is. Um, <clears throat> he says, well, if they are with you, then I shall ask my riddle. It can fill a room without occupying space. What is it? Table talk, it's a fart, but okay, back. <laughs> <Show. laughs> Mr. Sphinx, I believe this answer last time was light. I... Uh, Confused about this last time, but you are correct, little dragon. The answer is indeed light. Um, and as he says the word light, um, beams of light dancer around the room, bouncing off the crystals and lighting up the portal below. <clears throat> So the portal's open? Yes, he says. Uh, the gateway is open. Safe journey to the stars. And then he uh, kind of sits back on his haunches, back in the pose of the statue, and goes back inert. Okay, before y'all go through the portal, I'm going to grab uh, Quote, and I'm going to tell him not to touch any buttons. Before she so leaves, not, I'm in the did portal. Did you not want to do <laughs> drugs with me? Is this like a you slap my hands every time I touch something moment? Yeah, and like, seriously, <laughs> the, just get your ass in there and just don't touch anything. The Sphinx is uh, no longer responsive. He's just back to being normal stone and not living stone anymore. So Zoldan hops in the, in the portal and disappears. Uh, I'm hopping in immediately. I know this is a time-sensitive matter. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, well, I brought Quote back, hopefully, in time, and he knows not to touch anything. Uh, it's going to take a couple <laughs> rounds for you to get Quote and bring him back Son here. Of a bitch. Even though I'm fast, I can't, like, drag him. Uh, no, if you carry him, if you try and carry him, you move at half I'll speed. Be slower. Yeah, true, true that. Okay, well, <clears throat> have fun, guys. <laughs> 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 uh Rowan, the uh the Arcanite high is kind of fleeting, so you're starting to sober up now as you see your uh your your friends here kind of like their bodies kind of like turn into a white, like lighted silhouette, you know, it looks like a shadow, but instead of black it's like bright light. And they kind of turn into glitter and then like shoot off into this in up through the ceiling. Very like imagine just the Star Trek teleport animation <laughs> but so wait hold on okay. hold on hold on if the portal's open does that mean it closes immediately like i don't have time to bring him back it's just like an immediate no the closure. portal's still open okay so i can bring him back in time 
I mean, it's just going to take you a couple of rounds to get to him okay. and get back here. I'm not saying yeah, you're not going to have time to show up on the ship. I'm just saying it's going <laughs> to take time to get Damn there. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you, boo. But, you know, depending on what they do, you may or may not get there in time. I don't know. All right, all right. But, uh, Rowan, what are you doing? Um... Reshi's I'm running kinda, off to get Quotha. The other two went through the portal. You're I'm all kind of observing around. Is there any way I can pop up there and get a good read on what the inscription stuff says on the... Uh, I'm just curious. I'm just kind of, um, like, kicking around. I see I see what's going on with the lights and stuff. Yeah. And I'm not 100% on board with whatever. I'm just kind of looking yeah. around and stuff. So, on the, like the rectangular base that he's on, right across the front here... Um, mm -hmm. there's just some elven script, uh, that has like a code word that you get, like, you need to say aloud and the Sphinx will like wake up. I forget exactly what I said last week, so. The word translates to balls. <laughs> also, welcome <laughs> sure. to Texas, you're screwed. But that's okay. You get no power and no water. It, it's, <laughs> it, change, it actually changes every time. The inscription this time says, I have string. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awkward. Um, can I, is, there, is there anything I can observe around me to kind of get a better read on what the fuck's going on? Because I haven't been around. Um, yeah, sure. Make a um, Make a religion check for me. You. <laughs> Legion ten. Um, I mean, luckily you're a half elf and probably knowledgeable a little bit about the elven religion. I mean, you have been living in an elven-dominated part of the country for a while. Um. So this is a uh, this is a temple to time, um, and as we all know, the sun controls time as it orbits around the planet, right? <laughs> and uh, uh, this is a temple to the larger of the two sons of Osrin, uh, which is called Sol. Uh, there's some minor like references to Bathos, the uh, secondary sun uh, that orbits the main star. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this, this is just a, it's a temple to the sun gods, and, um, uh, there's just a lot of, kind of, religious iconography of the, um, the dancing twins, as the, as the elves call them. <clears throat> okay. So, the temple has something to do with, um, time chronology and uh the uh the elven sun gods dungeons and dom thank you for the raid welcome in everybody um our characters Hello. are currently experiencing a time loop they are in a temple of time dedicated to the elven sun gods soul and bathos uh the dancing twins as our world here that we play in osrin as two suns and three moons, but right now we're concerned about the two suns that orbit each other. <clears throat> Hence the name, the Dancing Twins, uh, by the Elven religion. Uh, two of our characters here, the the two in uh, the middle uh, that are on the golden orb here have teleported away. Um, our dragonborn friend in the little blue token has gone off to collect our barbarian and our bard right now is just learning a little bit more about what this temple is like and what it's all about. <clears throat> Stuck in a chaos time loop before. It was an interesting time. Uh, this is also an interesting time on top of the temple, uh, which is a large like um, Mayan or Incan ziggurat. Uh, that you'd see in like Central America, uh, there is a sphinx and a devil battling to the death on top, and the sphinx has told them that they need to go through this portal uh, and kind of solve a problem to stop the time loop. 
Anything else you need to do, Rowan? So you know it's a temple to the sun gods. There's other than I mean, like it's like stone carvings and stuff in the walls and like depictions of like you know the sun god like you know creating creation and um like governing the flow of time there isn't like there's like no golden edifices here or anything like there's not like fancy um candelabras or like incense burners or anything like there's nothing of value to like steal or interact with it's just kind of this open marble flooring and column columns and then like relief carvings on the walls have the other guys already went into the portal uh tail and uh zoldan have yes okay Ron's gonna give a real heavy sigh just kind of look around for a sec and then he's just gonna stumble into the portal. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so Zoldan and um, Tail, you guys <clears throat> end up on um a metallic, like in a metallic room. Um, you hear like a little and these doors in the back of this picture here kind of slide open. Um, I've seen this before. And you enter this room. There's a bunch of screens all over the place and they're flashing red arcane sigils on them. Uh, there's a bunch of buttons all over the, like, the kind of ledges, like shelving ledges in front of these screens uh there's a bunch of seats but there's no people in any of the seats it's uh uh to use words that we know in real life the bridge of the ship is is empty like there's no people here it is an unmanned bridge of a ship are there any windows looking out uh there are no windows looking out at least not well there is a very large wide screen glass window in the like where we're like from the viewpoint where we're looking in this picture like into the ship like we're basically imagine we're on the big widescreen screen <laughs> looking into the ship there's this it's really wide it's one. Screen. um it's currently not see-through it is black um but it is not flashing an arcane symbol give me an investigation roll for me Investigation 23. Uh, you can actually see that um, it looks like there are metal shutters uh, behind the glass. Uh, you think that maybe there's a way to open the metal shutters and it might be a window. But and you're there's not... A hmm? there's, there's consoles in front of this and stuff? like. Yeah, like yeah. The two looks... right, right in the front, like at the bottom of this picture, there's um some consoles and buttons and stuff. Yeah. Submarine uh, winner, say... thank you for the follow. <laughs> I'll say to uh, Tails is maybe maybe we should start at that those where those switches are in the front there first. Are the switches uh, labeled in Elvin? Uh, they some of some of them are. Uh, the letters are elven, um, but uh, give me, well, I guess, what languages do you speak? Uh, I speak common, draconic, elvish, goblin, and primordial. Okay. Uh, roll me an investigation check then, because the, the script, like the letters are elven, uh, but the like words and stuff are not elvish words. So it's sort of like how Spanish, Italian, French, English, German, they all use Latin letters for the most part. Uh, they're different languages. 12 investigation. I think that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty good. It's close enough. Um, so, you know, it's not Elvin. Um, the script isn't written in Elvish. So like things that are like labeled 
Uh, right? Like, there's, like, keyboards that just have individual letters, right? Just, like, normal keyboards. Uh, but anything that's labeled is labeled in tabaxi. Tabaxi? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to use my feature. Uh, what is this called? What is this called? Uh, it's not Master Scrivener. Awaken Spellbook. And I am going to cast the ritual spell Comprehend Languages in a minute. Okay. Um, as you cast Comprehend Languages, uh, it's going to take, it takes you a minute. Um, as you, um, <laughs> you hear a sound and, uh, stumbling out of the portal is Rowan with a dog's face. <laughs> He's transformed. There's some very strange transmorphative effects. Yeah, you guys seem unaffected. But Rowan, is, Rowan now has a dog's face. It's very nonplussed. He's kind of just looking around. He he's somehow longer in every dimension. Yes, a he's a very he's a very long boy. This is getting awkward. <laughs> Since, you know, this is kind of weird, right? <clears throat> Zoldan just thinks, "Oh, well, this, this must be just something that's happening," and he's just going to go investigate those. I don't know. That the, the uh, upper <laughs> Taylor's um, gonna turn, take so, note. That's weird, and then just get back to what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. So like mm -hmm. the there's like been like sirens, like you know that kind of noise happening. Uh, red arcane sigils flashing on uh the the twelve screens on like you know the the two banks of monitors there. Um, you do find um, uh, you do find a couple of controls uh that you think uh if you flip a couple of switches and you, and the metal shutters uh the blast screens um should like you should be able to open the the front window of this of this uh ship okay. Mr. Golden? so if we open it then what do we see <laughs> well i don't want to open it just yet oh okay, okay. <laughs> mr zolden yes my friend I need your wing. I need my wing. Yeah, I, I would like you to unfurl your wing, please. Oh, he's like chop off your wing for me. <laughs> it's like uh, you can't cut it off. Um, okay, so I unfurl your my one wing. I will like very ET phoning home, stick my finger forward, and begin writing all the information that I've deciphered on his wing <laughs> with my illuminator's tattoo. Ah, uh, guys, that was weird. I turned into a dog for a few minutes. So weird. Oh yeah, you see, uh, you see, Rowan morph back into his self. Um, Those portals are weird, man. Have we made it back <laughs> did, yet? Did not like still, that. I did not like way? that. Um, yeah, you guys are. You'll show up here in just a little bit. Maybe one okay. or two more actions. That's fair. Quothe is obstinate. A little bit. <laughs> um, but I can start smashing things again. I'm pressing buttons. <laughs> You're off smashing for right now, at least. After writing down everything that I know there on Zoldan's wing, I'm going to uh, flip the switches and try and open the shutter. Okay. Uh, so you uh, you start opening the the shutters and immediately know that this was a very bad idea uh, as the blast shutters are meant to protect the glass from the friction of a spaceship re-entering the atmosphere and almost immediately the glass goes red hot and starts melting <laughs> I'm just gonna turn that back flip that where it was <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, this is some pretty old technology, and those doors cannot be turned back in a in a blink of an eye. They have to fully open before you can shut them again. <clears throat> it's like a garage door, kind of. 
At least, is like, it, uh, my garage doors they have to fully open before you can close them again. It, it's rapidly heating up, but hasn't, like, exploded in our face yet, right? Uh, it has not, no. The, the glass is going red hot. You think... You do not have much time before that glass melts and that fire blasts into this chamber that you're in and roasts the fuck out of you guys. I am going to use Ray of Frost Mm -hmm. on the glass to cool it from this side, which is probably going to make it brittle, but hey, hopefully it buys us some time. Okay. Um, I'm not going to have you, like, roll to hit. Uh, but do roll damage. See how cold you can, like. Can I help out. with my scythe of mending? Scythe uh, of mending. When you when you when you show up, maybe. Um, it mends now. I don't. <laughs> it it does, does everything. It does not. <laughs> it does not <laughs> mend. It is not the sledgehammer of healing. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Uh, that's to hit. It yeah, just yeah. auto-rose when I click on it, so. Eight. Not bad. Not bad. Um, not as good as you could do. Um, you you see kind of like the one spot where you're hitting with the ray kind of doesn't, it's not quite, it's, it's not glowing as bright as the other spots. Um, but it is just an instantaneous spell. You can't like keep it going forever and once the spell's gone it the glass heats back up uh at this point you hear the teleporter noise again and reshi and quothe show up uh you two um enter this chamber this bridge of this ship um though you guys don't know the words to describe it you see the monitors are flashing red arcane sigils there's a giant widescreen uh, window in the front of the ship that's starting to glow red hot. Uh, the temperature is starting to rise in this in this area of the of the ship. <clears throat> okay, can I frost breath? I mean, you can try. Yeah. Wait, but his I don't know this. I guess his stuff didn't work, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't know that. <clears throat> um. So just uh, let's see. Your frost are you using your natural frost breath or are you using your um looks I'm like sure natural which one's better breath. yeah i was yeah. gonna do natural but i don't think that um so you don't do as much cold damage to the window as his ray of frost but yours okay. is spread over more um i will say that your efforts because it's over a larger area Gives uh, the rest of the group time to do one more thing <laughs> before oh bad things God. happen. Okay. How big barker. is this window? Is it uh, less it's than big. thirty feet? Less than thirty feet wide. Um. Yeah, it's probably less than thirty feet wide. I is there a... use my awakened spellbook to cast uh, Tasha Tasha's Caustic Brew with cold damage and cover it in a cold acid so that it continues to freeze over time. That's a good idea. Interesting. A cold acid. I have a yep. boon, but I'm not, I don't want to use it because I feel like I'm going to need it later for freezing stuff. Interesting. Okay. I can maintain that for up to a minute. Then we can get the fuck out of here. I can close the window. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so you cast, uh, that's an action to cast? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Um, because of how hot this is, and this is a, you know, weird circumstance, I'm going to have you roll const- concentration checks on this to keep, like, the, just to see how the magic holds up. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> I know it's probably not a concentration spell, but I don't know how else to run this. Uh, it is a concentration spell. Oh, well then, there you go. I'm going to have you roll concentration checks then. Um, so <clears throat> you you cover the thing in this, like, frosty liquid, um, and it seems to be holding back the the coldness uh, or the hot, the heat a little bit. Uh, 
But, uh, yeah. It's... You are going to be... I think, Tail, you're going to be locked down on th doing this. Just kind of like, you know... What's the like like a like a Jedi trying to stop a ship just like standing there like ah <laughs> yeah I didn't figure I'd be doing much more than keeping us alive <laughs> right now <laughs> does uh, it give us enough time so I can yeah, close can... The, the close the shields uh it it will if he can make a couple of concentration checks yes. It's only taken, like, three rounds for these blast doors to open fully. Um, so you can start to close them. And I'll need a concentration check from you, Tail. That's, uh... What is the rest of modifier? the group doing? Well, I'm uh, trying to close the, the it's, blast. It's just a constitution this. save. I don't know whatever you're... <clears throat> It's a constitution saving throw. Thank you for the biddies. Um, Don't whoa. kill me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, bribery. You Wait, die first. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, with a critical fail, you... It's too much for you, Tail. Uh, you lose concentration on this, and unfortunately, with a critical fail, uh, that is going to blast open this window and you guys get roasted as the ship crashes into the ziggurat and a flash of white later you are back uh in <laughs> front of uh the ziggurat <laughs> again see the bright words he didn't kill us right I feel like I got closer by face rolling the buttons. Um, <laughs> you did die for a moment, but you're alive again as uh, time reverts itself. And you end up back in the front of the temple grounds, just under that stone archway on the outskirts of uh, the forest. And you guys can see now that Drazan almost looks nothing like his sexy self before. He's now just like, kind of imagine the Balrog from Lord of the Rings, you know? Fire coming out of his mouth, giant hulking muscle body. He's probably 60 feet tall. And the, the, the Chrono Sphinx now is maybe 15 feet long. So he's growing every time this happens? Every, it seems like... I'm not even going to make you roll insight or anything. It's pretty obvious at this point. Every time you fail to stop this ship crashing into the um, ziggurat for whatever reason. And I'll let you roll insight to find out more information than this. But um, for whatever reason, every time this thing crashes into the ziggurat... Um, he gets more powerful and the Chrono Sphinx gets weaker. Not only is he growing in size, but like he's very clearly getting more powerful. In fact, at this point, he's able to just pick up the, the Chrono Sphinx as if it was like, if he was a human and the Chrono Sphinx was a normal house cat and he just starts punching the Chrono Sphinx in the face over and over again. Oh my god. Well, that's not okay. good. Shouting, really Your good power bad. will not be able to stop me, Sphinx. I shall rule this world, even if I have to rule it the same minute for all eternity. Now I want to kill him. <laughs> Just a big dickwad. Um... <laughs> so, yeah, if Just anybody wants to roll insight for any more information. Uh, you can. I'm only at plus three on it, but I'll try. But, uh... Undo, undo, jump into this time vortex. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, oh, critical hit. Thank you, sir. Uh, I know I'm looking good. What you want? <clears throat> so, Reshi, you, uh, you're a master of coldness. Your body is filled with cold energy. 
you survived that crash just lo a little bit longer than everybody else because as the fire took a little bit longer to destroy you um you notice that whatever is blowing up the ship like the the as the ship hits the uh temple you're not sure if it's from inside the ship or if it's something in the temple but that crash is what is causing the time loop there's some kind of energy that is being dispersed um and you also think that the every time it explodes the explosion gets like almost like a positive feedback loop it's increasing the the radius of the explosion every time as well. Okay. Cuz as it like loops around, now there's extra explosion hitting that explosion from before. And okay. the one from before that and the one from before that. <laughs> so to save time, I'm not going to reverb what you said, but I'm going to tell that to the group that I noticed that um mm -hmm. as things went down and we died. Um I don't know if we need to explore the ziggurat or if we can go further from this area, but maybe that's an option. Maybe that's an idea we can do. Well, some other people work on not crashing the ship. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> I mean, with that I information, think... do you think that's worth it, or do you think we should just keep doing the ship stuff? Well, I mean... Yeah, I mean, some can investigate the temple to see if there is a source from the temple that's destroying the ship, or if it's, mm -hmm. you know. It's just us not pushing uh, the right buttons. It might just uh, be a puzzle. Mm -hmm. But I think Maybe. as far as figuring out the ship, the best person to be in there was Tail, then. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then maybe Doldon is decent in Arcana stuff, so. Big brains over there. Um, I don't mind hanging out with y'all. I'm just waiting outside of it and seeing if anything changes on this end. Because I don't see the point of us continuing to die over and over again. All we know is we've got to definitely get into the ship because... Even know, if it's going to crash, let's make it crash somewhere different. Mm -hmm. Right, or in a different way. So, it, And it seems like whatever we're doing is just going to change every time. We learn something new every time. It is so this time quick. we're obviously not ordering or opening the garage doors, you know? <laughs> right. It's not going to happen. So. Luckily, okay? I have a loincloth of drag in my bag of holding. <laughs> you, have, you literally cannot do anything, sir, unless you have some big brain option right now. Or you can. That's fine. Do you want to just tell everybody again? Well, as as we, I take it we reappear on the force line, the the you know whatever we did last time, not in the temple, but right on the edge of the mm -hmm. yard. Yeah, yeah. You still remember? So you know maybe Zoldan. don't open the blast shields. So Zoldan will look at Tail and the group and say, "Shall we proceed again?" And kind of point towards the door. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I certainly don't want to fight Drazan in his state. I'd like him to shrink down a little bit, at least. So what do you say, Tail? Uh, visibly agitated, Tail. Yeah, Come on, let's like, go. Let's okay, do it again. It's like he's not going to shrink. <laughs> well, I'll Can pick him just... up and we start going. Can we just crash the ship into Drazan? <laughs> Maybe. we. That's a good <laughs> we idea, got... actually. We just got to figure oh, out how he's to... on top of the temple, and it's been hitting the temple, so he's been getting hit by it every time too. And he's been enjoying it. Okay. He has. Been. Well, let's try again, guys. He has been like that dirty little kingster he is. <laughs> I shouldn't say dirty, like that little kingster he is. <laughs> yeah, I'm kink shaming over here. Oh, and does is the writing on my wing still there? Uh, yeah, the writing is still okay, there. Rowan, you're high again. Oh, oh yeah, no. It goes back to being, oh. Well, that's not good. Well, I'll scoop up tail and start flying towards the portal again. Okay, but this time I'm grabbing, because I remember everything, right? I'm grabbing Cloak mm -hmm. and saying, we're going together now, so we don't do the whole waiting thing. <laughs> 
And he has to go because I kind of know him in real life, so. <laughs> I got a leg he up on that one. Have to go. No, he does. No, he does. He doesn't have to go. Hulk's just here to smash. If he wants to be <laughs> snuggled, he's going to go with me. Peacefully. I need to real quick. Is it? You know who rolls the dice in that relationship. <laughs> there go. Move. I just realized Critical you can't hit. see that Jobus has bardic inspiration. Unless so I make him feed, a little bigger. If we feed... Is this like the same as being drunk? If we feed Rowan, will he get less high or no? Um, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I love you, too. Have you ever fed him before while he's high? No, I've never tried. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have like oh, gonna Arcanite is tail. not a Arcanite is not a substance that is consumed it, at all. Like Roan is the only right. person who uses this substance as a drug. So it's like imagine That's how it be sometimes though. Imagine you're <laughs> the you're the friend of the first person who ever used meth. <laughs> like oh, you don't know what the drug things, is or what it's doing to him or how to counteract it. A lot of things up Hale. in the air. Hale, can we get some spaghetti up in here? Um, Try it. Let's experiment. Let's give him something. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Well, I do have lesser restoration scrolls. Well, don't burn just... anything on him. I guess you can because we're just in like this time. Okay, it doesn't matter, honestly. I say I can cast less less restoration too. I was like, maybe I should try that on him. But at the yeah, moment, I mean, it's one disease or condition, but it's all on how Jeff wants to look at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. is being high a condition, or is it just being poisoned in a new way? I don't know. Find out <laughs> on next week's episode. <laughs> well, at this moment, I'm flying with a, a little dragon cobalt. So, <laughs> yeah. You Zolan's got his hands full. If anyone's gonna cast the spell, it's gotta be it's gonna be tail. I'm just gonna throw a scroll down as we, we're leaving. It's just a, a scroll of lesser restoration, okay. but I don't have time to actually cast the spell. I'm just throwing it there and deal with that kind of thing. So because tail and Zolan are getting out ahead of everybody, uh, the tails, uh, he tail drops the scroll. Reshi, if you want, you can pick up the scroll and try and cast it on, on, yep. uh, on how am I going to cast it? Though? Like, what are a roll for that? Uh, you don't need to roll anything. You just read the okay, scroll. Just do it. Okay. Uh, you read the scroll, you cast the spell on Rowan. The, um, the scroll turns itself into like warm light in your hands and it kind of, flies over and infuses Rowan as the scroll is used up. Rowan, you feel a lot better. Your head is uh, is clear. Interesting. Just so you guys know, I'm now planning a shenanigan if we survive to just wait for Rowan to get drunk or high and then be a dick and remove the high or drunk from him yep. without his knowledge. That's fair. Oh, I'll know. How many of those scrolls <laughs> do you have? Uh, I have two currently. Well, I had two. I have one left. You have one left. Okay. Just, just out of, I was just curious. All right. Uh, so you guys get back into the temple. Be sweet, um, sweet gifts from Damu. The, uh, the, uh, the, the Sphinx, uh, when you wake up the statue Sphinx, um, he is still confused about what's going on. It seems like the stone statue does not uh, remember the uh, what's going on. However, as you guys are running up the stairs, the uh, and the Sphinx, like the Chrono Sphinx herself, is just getting punched in the face by a like 60 foot tall Drazan. Uh, she does call out to you, like saying, hurry heroes, there's not much time left before he controls the whole world <clears throat> i cannot keep this up forever <clears throat> it seems as though maybe the chrono sphinx is also being involved with the time loop somehow oh 
Oh, shit. And it is draining her powers and abilities to do so. <clears throat> oh. Okay, don't open the blast shield. Yes, don't don't open the blast shield. Uh getting getting through the um getting through the the portal and stuff is fine. Like you don't need to this is the same riddle every time. Um so you've you've solved that part of this problem. You know how to get on the ship. <laughs> So entering the ship this time, again, the screens flashing red with arcane runes and sigils. Uh, you know how to um, get... Uh, so, Tail, you need a, you need to cast the ritual again. Ca uh, Comprehend Languages has not uh, like rolled over. Yeah. Yep. Um, but uh, you, can, you can read the, um, the stuff... Please what do the screens say? Make an arcana check. Those are arcane sigils. Those are not. Uh, it's not written into Baxi on the. They're like those, uh, like Doctor Strange, Full Metal Alchemist, like circle, like you know, arcane circles kind of thing. Well, what did you write on my wing? Uh, that is Tabaxi, and what levers open the door? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, uh, you want an arcana, right? Yes. Let's see if we can do any good this time. I'd like to use my Barbic for D6. Okay. Because I can't roll for... Oh, I didn't like that at all. Is can this... I help with just with the arcana? Since, I mean, I'm a, I have a plus seven to arcana, so... Can I assist him in any way? Uh, You can roll your own arcana check. Bonus. Okay. I can't roll tonight. I can't roll either on that. <clears throat> uh, you also have Bardic, Jobus. Oh. Is this like Lamenta? You, you have to tattoo yourself. <laughs> 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 I mean, it seems like maybe. Uh, so Jobus has a 16, uh, and Singretti has a 14 on that roll. Um, <clears throat> what you guys, um, seem to make out on the screens this time, um, is that there has been an engine malfunction on the better than light drive made by some company called Space Corp. <clears throat> like the, the arcane runes read... The Space Corp Better Than Light Drive Major Malfunction. Um, you can tell that the, the engine is, like, redlining. Um, and, uh... Yeah, if you want... Well, I guess uh, from that information, what do you guys want to do? Um... Can so we... it, it, it's not failed. It's just going as fast as it possibly can. Uh, yeah, it's like stuck. Like the accelerator is stuck. Um, and the engine is like just going burning hot. I'm going to look for some kind of um, control. Maybe like some the engine, meltdown issues happening as well. <laughs> Yeah, go like, uh, like investigate roll. more for, for like an engine control like station or something. Right, right. Um, roll. Uh, if you guys want to work together, you can elect someone to roll with advantage. Otherwise, I'll accept two investigation checks from separate people. Let's uh, let's go separate here, because okay. I'm rolling like shit today. <laughs> I feel like we should be playing Major Tom as we're doing this. Well, we can't because copyrights. I know because I know, but still, oops, it would be fair. even an investigation. Sorry, I didn't. Arcana. Uh, what's your modifier for this? They're both the same, but I rolled investigation too. Uh, well, if your modifiers are the same, I'll just take that nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, nineteen is pretty good. Um, 
you find the engine controls um, and start manipulating them, um, you don't feel any change. Like, you, you kind of start to notice there's, like, that background hum, like, in the ship. It doesn't, like, go... Like, you don't hear that as, like, the engines start to, like, back off or anything. It seems like the whatever's malfunctioning, um, as far as you can tell, like, the decelerator on the and the bridge is not working to control um, the actual engines themselves. Okay. Um, to the engine room. <laughs> Well, I was going to say the warp drive sound from Star Trek. I don't know. Probably not. Do you, you want to go to the engine room, or should one of us stay here and try to figure out con like flight controls, like how to steer the thing, while one of us goes to the engine room? What do you think? Yeah, go go for that. I'm going to the engine controls because worst case scenario, I can shut it off. It may crash, but it won't be going so damn fast. Okay, then I'll I'll stay on the bridge looking for. Looking for flight controls. Cool. Um, San Greta, you can read uh, the tabaxi. So when you get over to the... Uh, there's the only door in or out of this place is that door that you guys came into or came in from, which is just a teleporter pad. Uh, but there is like an elevator panel of buttons, like, you know, control. Um, and you do see one labeled um, engine bay. Uh, so that you can tell, you can like hit that button and it'll teleport you not back down to the ziggurat, but it'll teleport you back like to somewhere else in the ship, basically. And you see other ones, there's like, uh, like mess hall, engines, dormitory, science lab. There's like a bunch of different like labels for a bunch of different places on the ship, um, as well. <clears throat> Cargo bay is another one. Armory is another one. Uh, but you hit the button that says engine bay um, and you get teleported. Um, you hear the as you kind of come, you feel yourself re -caporealized. Um You hear the little sound of the doors as they open. And uh, there is a there's a long hallway ahead of you. And I don't have pictures for this yet because I'm still drawing all of the stuff for Spaceship Zero, guys. <laughs> but uh so imagine, if you will, <laughs> you um, the doors open. There's this long hallway, um, you know, nice white sort of plastic interior. Uh, there's a couple of doors heading off the hallway, uh, but there's like these giant, like big double doors at the far end of the hallway, um, and there are some tabaxi at the end of the hallway, kind of frantically talking to each other. Um, they're in these red, um, like, you know, like imagine like the vault suits from fallout, except they're red with white trim on them. Um, and they've got these triangular patches on their, uh, upper right and left shoulders, uh, that read space corp, much like the logo on the floor of the bridge. <clears throat> Uh, Jovis, can you roll for me an investigation check as you're looking for flight controls? And while Tail thinks about what he's doing, uh, Rowan, Kothe, what are you, and Reshi, what are you guys doing? Um, I assume just watching at the moment. I mean, well, if someone should have probably gone with Tail, so he wouldn't get, you know, need help. Mm -hmm. Tail doesn't want me anywhere near him at the moment. Tail, Tail is mad. <laughs> Tail is mad. I'm going to sit in that center, that center seat. So, Rowan, you go sit in the center seat, um, and you hear in... Uh, you you don't speak to Baxi, do you? No. Uh, so you hear something... You hear, like, a, a nice, soothing, uh, womanly voice in Tabaxi. Um... You're not exactly sure what it said, but it's calming anyway, welcoming for sure. Um, and a few buttons I'm gonna, I'm, on I'm the. Gonna, I'm gonna like, yell. I'm gonna yell out. Up. I'm gonna yell out. Fire the thrusters, and I'm gonna point out 
towards the front of the nothing the ship. Happens. The ship explodes. Oh. Nothing. No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, that's no good. There are a few buttons that lit up on the seat, like on the armrests of the seat. Oh well, I'll press those then. Okay. Great. Yeah, press the button. Uh, you Make press one of the. Here. You press a button, uh, and you feel your seat starts to warm up a little bit. It's it's nice. nice. It's, a, it's like a nice little heated seat. Uh, you press another one, and it starts to vibrate a little bit. So this is massaging. This is like a massager in the seat. Well, this uh, is working out for me. Yeah. Uh, Tail, what you doing? You see these tabaxi at the uh, far end of the hallway. Could I immediately ask what's going on, I guess? Mm -mm. Uh, I'm going to say it in common. You say in common? Because <clears throat> um, I don't speak tabaxi, but I do understand it. Fair. Fair. Um, <clears throat> one of, uh, one, one of the uh, tabaxi... Uh, looks back towards you. Um, they've got sort of like a like dark red, uh, like kind of like auburn fur. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he says, "The engine's overloading, sir. They don't know how to stop it." Um, <clears throat> uh, was that I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the Scotty here. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Captain, she can't do much, Moody. She can't do it, Captain. <laughs> well, he doesn't call you Captain, but because you're not the captain. But <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask, can't you just turn off the fuel? He says, I don't know where you come from, but that's not how the ship works. Can you eject the engine? Eject the what? What sort of ship has? No! How do you... Can you steer it in any way, shape, or form? He says, the steering controls are locked. They don't, they're don't. they jammed somehow. He like... Uh, he says, we've closed... We've closed the reactor doors here. Some... Something happened. The engine cracked when we... When we set it off. And the time energy is leaking out of it. <clears throat> The, the head engineer the went in there with a captain, and we saw him revert back to kitten form. <laughs> Do you say revert back? Can I see through the door? Does it have like a porthole on it? No, no, it's just a solid metal door. How far is the engine from the door? Are you asking that in character? Um, yes. He says, oh, the, probably 10 to 12 feet from the door is the, the panel to control the engine, but no one's been able to get in there long enough to do anything before they're turning back into a baby. Can you open the door, please? He, uh, he, like, looks to the other, uh, engineer, and, uh, they, they kind of, like, look back at you and, like, quickly nod their head no. They're like, we, no, no, we don't, we don't, we don't want to turn into babies. Uh, Tail is going to be the most forceful he can and probably not threatening in any way, shape, form to these folks and Should say, you can open the door or I can remove it. Y'all can bond together right now. Uh, okay. the, they look back at each other and they say, um, hold these two buttons down and then pull this lever. And then they start running towards the, the teleporter. <laughs> and they like pass you in the hallway. <laughs> but what if you turn into a baby when you go in there? I'm not going in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh use my fourth level spell and I'm going to summon my golem and then I'm going to use a mage hand to uh, manipulate things in the room. Interesting. So the golem can open the door and I'll use the mage hand from 30 feet away. I love it. Okay. Cool. Um, so the golem <clears throat> um, 
opens the door. Um, turning into a rock. Uh, Jobus, you have found. By the way, Jobus, you have found uh, the navigation controls uh, with that twenty-four. Uh, but mm -hmm. they, you have found that they are indeed locked. Like you can't, you can't turn the the steering mechanism at all. You know, like before you like when your steering column locks in your car before you like turn the engine over, like you can't move it. Like that's mm -hmm. like what you're getting that kind of resistance from it. Can I diagnose why maybe from this console? Or? <clears throat> uh, yeah, there'd be another investigation check. Uh, okay, while you're doing that, that um, the uh, the golem opens the door, and a sort of blast of pinkish purplish energy um think like you know what like an um what those like space clouds look like those gas clouds how like they've got like those ribbons of color in them it's something like that that's like undulating inside this room um and you see two newborn tabaxi just kind of laying in the in front of the console from uh one is uh one is looks like it's swaddled in red engineer's clothes uh and the other one looks like it is swaddled in a yellow uh kind of more you know maybe captainy kind of uh and like uniform <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah so you're saying a red shirt and a yellow shirt went into this room uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the they said the head engineer and the captain went into that room. So okay. Um what, oh, what, panel... what, I don't understand what's so funny about any of this. It's a dire what? situation. I want you you take this Very seriously, dangerous. god damn it. So is like Tail gonna like be like Spock and like die in the chamber where he messes with the Belithium pistols? I mean, he used to be blue, but he is red now. So I mean, I'll <laughs> let you take that as you uh, as you wish. <laughs> it is a very dramatic shirt downgrade. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> can I see the tear in the engine? Um. Yeah, you can you can definitely see there's like um so like the engine is like um you know how like Zordon was like in this giant glass tube? Um there's like this giant glass tube in the middle of this room with like a bank of computer monitors and stuff in front of it. Um and there's like this energy seat was supposed to be contained inside of this uh this glass cylinder with all of these like hoses and stuff coming out of it. Uh, but the glass is some for some reason has been cracked and uh, the energy is like seeping out from it. You also notice as the golem opens the door, the energy comes out of the doorway and starts slowly moving down the hall towards you. <clears throat> yeah, not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably reach you. Um, let me let me we'll find a die here run um why can i never find the die that i need quickly um uh, you know what i'll do this and divide by you think uh it's you're about 20 feet down the hallway it seems like it is progressing at about 10 feet around <clears throat> You've got about two rounds to do something before this energy hits you. Um, <clears throat> Is it moving like water or just from like a gas out of the crack? Um... Some um, moving. It's moving like a flag blowing in the wind. So it's like rippling kind of like that, right? As it's moving mm -hmm. just constant speed pushing down the hallway. Mm. 
Uh, I'm gonna have the golem go in and get as close to the engine as possible, the the okay. cracked part, and just kind of like swaddle it the best it can. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm I'm trying to see if it slows so there's it down. There's like at all. there's like bars, like railings, and computer monitors and stuff in the way. Um. Do you is there do you have a character sheet for the golem? Um, I I don't have one no. I can tell you its exact stats though. All right, roll. Um, if it has athletics, roll athletics. Otherwise, roll. Um, I guess a dexterity check. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a dexterity athletics check. <clears throat> I, I just make a dex check. I, okay. He and I have the same modifier there, so. Cool. A nine. Um, your golem is having very, a lot of, a lot of difficulty. It's having a very difficult time, uh, getting over the railings and computer banks in order to get over to the cracked glass cylinder. I can probably do dex, but I might turn into a baby. So is that worth it? Um, I mean, you're dex still on the bridge baby. with everybody else. Ah, okay. You didn't go with tail. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Uh, you uh, so let's actually flash back to the bridge once more. Um, steering column's locked. Um, the tabaxi teleported away. They did not go back to the bridge. Um, but uh, what are you guys? Rowan is sitting in a heated, vibrating chair. Um, because <laughs> it's the captain's seat, <laughs> and. Uh, Rechi and Kothe and uh, Zolden, what are what are you guys trying to do at this point? Well, I was trying to find out why the control for lock barrel was 13 for your request. Uh, right, 13. Uh, 13, you uh, you figured out, or at least you, you surmise, you're not entirely sure. You're like 80% confident that um, <clears throat> the reason the steering column is locked has something to do with the uh, engine malfunction. Like, it's probably better to be going in a straight line when the engines are malfunctioning than turning and spinning out of control. Okay. It's just a safety mechanism. Whether or not it's actually safe or not, that's up for debate, but that's what you think. <laughs> Do we see there... like the answer is here on the ship? Do you feel the answer is here on the ship? Like as a said? group, like the people that are still here, do we still feel like the answer for all this is on the ship? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what Tail's doing, but we don't know that as characters. That's just my I'm assumption. Just... I'm trying to figure out if it's better to try and repair the tube or just try to shut it down immediately. <laughs> if I had a little bit longer, I could repair it with with a lot of different options I have. If we have another time loop event, I have another option we could try. Right, okay. Just pull whatever you need in there next time. We're hoping there's a the next like, time. Confused. Yeah, I'm confused about what to do right now. There will always be a next time. We're in here forever, guys. <laughs> I have none of the skills to solve this problem, so I'm just letting you all do Same. All I have is dex and strength, so I mean, if you need that, I'm there. I have a little bit of wisdom, but that's it. Can I try to see if I can override the steering controls? Uh, you... Yeah. For the safety... Yeah, make an arcana check. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you miraculously figure out how to override the steering controls. 
<laughs> with a okay. twenty, with a twenty-five, no, with a twenty-five, I f yeah, yeah, yeah. You figure out how to do that. Okay, now can I figure out? You do where... notice that um, the buttons you push are on the same console that Quothe face rolled the first time you guys were here. <laughs> Told you. Shocking. Um. Okay, so now. If I override it now, I know I can figure out how to control the ship, or fly this ship, or I just know how to override the... I mean, you unlocked the steering. Whether or not you know how to control the ship is a different story. You can certainly try. Okay, well, that'd be the uh, next I will step. say, though, immediately, as you unlock the steering, I need everybody, including the golem, to make a dexterity saving throw. You unlock the steering, and those rudders flapping in the wind no, of the not. planet start moving, which means the well, ship starts spinning out of control, baby. Oh, I technically didn't say I unlocked the thing. I said, can I figure out how to? Wow. Oh, I you assumed more that than you that. did. I, ass <laughs> I assumed that you did. <laughs> With a 20 Tail roll, though, right? The golem did not, though. Uh, the golem splatters across the far wall of the ship. <laughs> there it goes the baby. Because it's clay. Oh, yeah, the babies get thrown. That's sad, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Time loop, I guess. They're only cats. <clears throat> There's a hot take for you. They're only cats. <laughs> Is there... Do I see any semblance Baby's of an off bounce. button? They in do that indeed, room? Nixle. They do indeed. What was that? <laughs> Any semblance of an off button in the room. Um, there's a big red button. What it's is like, it labeled as? Um, it's labeled emergency, and it's under a glass dome. <laughs> and it's actually labeled emergency. Not emergency. It's not for vit it's not vitamin C. Not the vitamin. Okay. I was confused. I'm gonna try and press the button with mage hand. Okay. And if the mage hand is not strong enough, uh I'm gonna balls up and thunder step my way in there to press the button by hand. Cool. Um you flip open the thing with mage hand and it pushes the button um you're not exactly sure what uh happens there as you feel the ship crashing again and you do kind of oh actually you know what make a perception check for me just tail make a perception check for me before we flash to white and time loop this once more. <laughs> Wouldn't us throwing it out of control make it miss its normal trajectory? Like... Trajectory. Uh, you guys were literally like one action from crashing. The I don't think you're... You were too close to the temple for you to miss this time. Uh, a four. You do not hear the engines powering down before you guys crash and flash back to the opening uh, or back to the, the main temple grounds here. <clears throat> um, as we um, I need to get water and I think it's a good time to take a break here. Um, and as we go to break, you guys can see from your location um, at the beginning, like at the entrance of the temple grounds, uh, Drazan looks to have reached maybe his final form. His hair is all golden and it's like flying up like with some magical underwind that's like flying like underneath him and his hair is like all He's like a Dragon Super Ball Z Saiyan. character now. Yeah, he's like wreathed in flames. Um, he's like 70 feet tall. And he is picking up what looks to be a kitten sphinx. It's just a little baby sphinx. Um, Charge into the temple. It, it, screams, it screams out to you. I can't hug it much longer. 
Yeah! You have to stop this while you still can, heroes! And that's where we're going to take our 10-minute break. We'll be right back, everybody! And we're back for part two of our show. Uh, <laughs> before the before the break, uh, you guys went through a few time loops. Um, Sangretti uh, unlocked the secrets of the teleporter and found the engine room and was just pressing the button, the emergency button on the engine of the spaceship. Uh, when it crashed and you time looped once again, um, the Chrono Sphinx has been getting younger and younger and weaker and weaker. Drazan has been getting larger and larger and more powerful, uh, with every time loop. Um, and as, uh, the Chrono Sphinx said before the break, this is the last, you gotta solve it this time, heroes. I can't do this much longer. Cause it's a baby. Well, or toddler or whatever. <laughs> okay. So can we just fast forward to us being on the ship? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. You, you go through the temple, get the portal, boot it up again, get yourselves on the ship. You know how to work the controls, um, uh, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Ron goes and sits in the, in the, in the. In the captain's chair. Um, <clears throat> so you guys are. Oh no! Why is both a flash? That was weird. Uh, he has been. I don't know what. Uh, maybe I need to turn his light on. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. I think it's your light. No, it doesn't have anything to do with it on this one. It's probably. Uh, both it was just at the disco, guys. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's just just going. That was the fun. teleporter. He was teleporting. I mean, it turned Genie into a dog recently, and I don't see why it couldn't send him to a disco, no, too. Fair. It turns Quothe into a D20. Yeah, <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go back to the engine room. However, I need someone to come with me this time. Preferably someone okay. to be quick. But, okay, so I'm quick, but... But what? I mean, I'm quick. Two, if What's I your, use okay, Misty's let's compare step. decks here. Let's let's measure. Let's have a measuring contest. What's your decks? I mean, not as good as yours. <laughs> <laughs> decks, okay, you this is backup plan, plan, guys. I mean, Just so you know. Is Seventeen. Wait, wait, wait. If we do saving throws, what's your decks? Oh, uh, plus six. Okay, mine's eight. Dexterity is eighteen, so we're we're evenly we're kind of yeah. You're we're pretty close in Dex. Your okay. your Dex is a little bit better. All I'm saying is I have Misty Step if if we need to use. Then that. you go. Then you go because then because I literally can I teleport. I can just teleport across the room. Okay, yeah. do that. You go then. I'm gonna kind of hang in between mm. if that's okay. If we've been talking about this a little bit, mm. so if he needs me, I'm there like an earshot. Yeah. But not affected if the mist comes back. Okay. And then I'm going to go to where you can unlock the controls. I'm, I'm not unlocking the flight controls. Okay. I just know <laughs> I am going the, where I can do it. But at the same time, before I do it, while they're okay. rushing off, I want to see if I can figure out how to fly the thing before. Okay. Like, uh, before unlocking controls. Jobus, make another investigation or Arcana check. Either one to see if you can figure out how to actually fly this thing <laughs> can you promote yourself to helmsman 26 26 uh you have a pretty good idea you think you once if you unlock the steering you think you could probably steer this thing okay <clears throat> i'll let the before i do anything i'll let tails part play out too fair enough all right, so Rowan, Reshi, and Tail, you guys teleport down to the engine bay. Uh, the doors open. There's a large, uh, long, like, 25-foot hallway. Uh, there's two engineer tabaxi um, off in the, you know, far end of the, and they're, like, kind of frantically arguing back and forth with each other. Uh, they, they Just like before, they don't notice you guys. 
uh, entering like the hallway. Okay, but I'm gonna reverb. I'm not going with them. I'm staying where I'm at. Oh, I thought you were going with them, but staying back like near the teleporter. Um, yeah, okay, so as far away from them as possible to still hear what they're saying. Because I don't want to get hit with whatever's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Well, I, can, I mean, I can literally go back and tell everyone else this shit's happening. No, yeah, that's that's fair. So, yeah, you're going to okay. you just stay kind of near the teleporter. Yeah. Um, yes, Tail, Rowan, what are, you, what are you guys doing? I'm going to misty step right to where the that goofed up so the, part of so the right is. now the door the door is still closed oh so you can't see into the 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 room oh, yeah yeah i'm sorry i didn't realize we hadn't opened the door yet all right uh, yet. before we open the door i want to ask them how do we fix it we know what's going on in there i don't know where do you, i don't know who you are or where you came from but you, you shut down if you want to shut down the engine, you gotta hit the big red button under the glass. That it? It's the emergency shut off. How long will it take to shut down? Yeah, uh, a couple of minutes. Do you trust that, Kale? Man, I, I don't know how to fly this spaceship oh, shit. I'm just trust. going with what they're telling me at this point. Do you trust that? Because after all the things we've seen, do you trust that? Meanwhile, I'm going to sit at the con. It's basically the same conclusion I had come to by being in the room. Did you say you're going to sit at comms? Like communications? No, the controls for the flight control. No. I will snatch your head off. Okay. So you like shove Zolden out of the way and sit where he was standing? I don't think so. <laughs> God, you always got to bring it to a grapple check. You know, never know when to quit. <laughs> okay. 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 I thought, I, we have the same strength, buddy. So it comes down to die roll. So I'm, I'm as no, strong no, as no, you. No, everyone, everyone has good big dick. Stop. <laughs> I mean, canonically, not. <laughs> I mean, canonically, Quothes is not very large, but also canonically, Zoldan doesn't even have one because lizard. <laughs> yeah, Cloaca. Yeah. yeah. me fucking cricket. Okay. <laughs> I just put my tail between my legs. <laughs> Dig it, this is it. <laughs> Shut up. Uh. Well, I'm going to tell the, the crewman, go to the deck and figure out how to steer this thing. We'll press the button. <clears throat> hey, uh, they, they don't really know what to do in this situation, so they're just going to kind of nod and comply. Uh, <laughs> but you do see on their faces that they're like, this is a bad idea, but... Uh, what else do what else do we have to lose in this moment? Like we're crashing into an alien planet. We don't we don't know what the fuck is going on here. I need question. one of you to stay at the teleporter though. In case something's wrong, I need someone to tell me what to do. <laughs> I got a question. Didn't, didn't, didn't we um get like little communicator things or something for when we were yeah, in the game of Gale? Gale? Yeah, you have you have uh, keep, you know, little sending stone things. Sending stones, and we can talk through them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, once I had figured it out, I can somewhat maybe fly this thing. I'll let mm -hmm. Tail know that I think I've configured out the controls. So Tail, you're you're basically have given them the instructions, and they're like running down the hallway when this message comes through. Uh, I will respond and let him know the crew is coming up. So he doesn't just kill them when he sees them, you know. Fair. Because I don't know how he feels about it yet. <laughs> so yeah, one of um uh one of one of them uh says uh to the other one, he's like, Alright, snotty, you stay here and help out that little thing <laughs> and uh the other guy teleports up to the bridge. And Snotty stays behind.
Uh, right. What you doing now, guys? Uh, I'm gonna go over the same process before. I'm I'm gonna summon that construct and open the door and have the mage hand press the button. Cool. Uh, you open the door. Uh, energy starts leaking out into the the hallway, but the the golem's fast enough that he goes over and he hits the button. Uh, when he hits the button, you hear a sort of kind of start to happen as you see the the energy stop advancing and then slowly start to retreat back into the room. Um, at that moment, the whole ship can hear that noise of the engine start to slow down. Um, when that happens, um, only on the controls panels um do the red lights stop flashing um and the the steering column unlocks <clears throat> okay well then i will try to figure out to, you know to get it to not where it's pointed at the ziggurat and get it to go up Ooh, okay <clears throat> We don't want to crash um so this thing does not have power steering give me a strength check Oh, or yeah. athletics, if you're trained in athletics. Uh, so, a uh, strength saving throw? Is that? No, a or, strength or no, 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 check. No, 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 check that. Check, 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 check. Or athletics, if you're trained in it. Use the muscles. Yeah, you gotta use your muscles. How do I roll the... Oh, there it goes. There it is. A 24, hell yeah. Um, you, um... You don't read Tabaxi, do you? <laughs> no. Okay. So you Okay, hold on. But now now comes the next part. He doesn't know if those controls are inverted or not. I should never So is he pushing down or is he pulling up? That's a good question. I regret it. That's why I investigated on how to the fly the thing. That's what I said. I'm married to a nerd. He did investigate you know, how to wanna... fly these things, and he is fairly he confident. He role, knows so how no. to do yeah, this. Okay. You I want to pull... be mad at Chad, but that is a really good point. A really, really good point. point. <laughs> but he did roll a 26 on how to figure out how to fly this thing. Uh, so, in just instinctually, you're just like, I don't know. At You're at the front of the ship. You want the front of the ship to go up. You just pull on it as hard as you can. And you do hear a sort of, as you're getting cl like closer and closer to the ground, you do hear like a beep, 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 beep right? As you're getting, like, you do remember that noise from before. Um, and you kind of like, it's like beep, 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 as you pull on this thing, it's like, you, you think, I don't know. Um, you, everyone else kind of feels that inertia, you know, you're, you kind of like brace yourselves against the, like anything nearby a wall or a doorway or something as you do feel the G forces of this thing, um, changing course. <clears throat> Does um, it feel like we're gaining, even as we're, the, the pitch is changing or do you feel like we're gaining any type of altitude? Uh, you're not sure. Because, uh, again, the blast door isn't open and the screens aren't displaying, like, outside. Um, but you do, after a few moments, feel a, a lurch and a... You guys are kind of knocked uh, a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can uh, make dexterity saves to see if you fall down or not. Uh, but there's a loud bang and uh, you, you hear a grinding noise and... You feel the the ship decelerating really quickly. <clears throat> I feel like we've hit the ground. Is that what you're describing? Uh, you can't see the outside, but you didn't blow up this time. Ooh. Improvements. Progress. Sh table talk. Should we try opening these uh, blast doors? No. Okay, but everyone else, because I'm the only one talking. We're at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Um, the uh, at this point, the uh, the engineers have uh, gotten to the to the bridge of this ship, um, and they they say what what the hell has happened here? <clears throat> and they start they run over to some of the consoles and they start 
clickety clacking on the on the um on the type. Uh, I was gonna say the typewriters. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? It's like these nineteen fifties pulp like spaceships. They they have typewriters <laughs> instead of keyboards. <laughs> why not god damn it they start typing on the like you know loud hacker you know style typing um some of the 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 uh, monitors start to like the red lights kind of go away and um the bank over here on the right hand side um all of the screens like light up with an outside view but so it's like six individual like panels that all make up one image um, it looks like you guys have indeed crash landed, um, and are stopped. <clears throat> Yay! Okay, so I you can get see there's like the a ship. giant trench dug out behind the spaceship. <laughs> yeah, I want to get out. I don't want to open any doors. I just want to get out. I don't want to see like the things opening. So you want to teleport back to the ziggurat? No, no, no. Will that teleport me if I get out of the ship? I was very confused. You said you don't want to open any doors, but you want to leave the ship. So the only no, way I to mean, do like, that is to teleport. Doors. No, I don't want to open the garage teleport doors. Teleport out of the. Well, you could open the. If you wanted to, you could open the blast door to the windshield. You're not moving anymore. That was dangerous because of the friction of okay, moving through the atmosphere. Okay, okay. You know how, like, meteors and shit burn up because of friction with the air? Right. Well, that friction was going to melt the glass. That's why they, were, they had blast shields in front of the glass, yeah. so that didn't happen. Yeah, I ate that stuff. Well, now that you're not okay. moving anymore, that's not... But it doesn't matter. Like, they have, ca like, external cameras and stuff. There's, like, you can see that you're not moving. And if you wanted to open, like, the actual door to the ship to leave, yeah, you can do that, too. When you said you didn't want to open any doors but leave the ship, I was like, wait, so you want to teleport back to the zip? No, I want to or... see where we are now. Like, I want to right. look at where we are. <clears throat> um, just kind of peek out, just kind of, like, put my eye out and be like, where are so, yeah. it? You, um, oops. Heck, nothing. That. There we go. Uh, you're back outside the the ziggurat. There's a giant trench um, behind you. You know, a big furrow uh, as the ship hit the ground and dug a trench uh, into the ground. Um, <clears throat> you can, uh, as you open the the doors, you can hear Drazan. He's like, "No!" and he like throws the baby sphinx. He's like, that's not how this is supposed to happen. And he like flaps his wings like one time as he launches off the roof of the uh, ziggurat and lands like boom, right in front of the ship, right in front of the door where you are, Reshi. Okay, a 60 foot tall yeah. devil no, man with good. like skeletal armor on. And um, he starts reaching down uh, to grab you, maybe? Roll a dexterity yeah, save. I'm shutting the damn door. I'm shutting the damn door. <laughs> nope. Click. I saw him flying. I'm like, I'm no. Shutting the damn door. Roll no, 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 a dexterity uh, 24 dexterity save. You juke back inside. You start closing the door. You feel him pick up the spaceship. Yeah, this he's like bigger, almost bigger than this. Well, he's taller, not you know, longer than the spaceship. You can pick up a spaceship with a bunch of people in it. Okay. Yeah. We're fucked, guys. That's it. He's That's he's a giant devil sure. now. He's mm -hmm. very powerful. Um, if he were to like lay down on the ground, the spaceships like I don't know, only about the like, same size as his hand. No, no, it's it's maybe like twenty feet longer than him. He has to like scoop it up like uh like a one of those like bench press barbells. He's gotta like pick it up with both hands. It's like he's doing bicep curls but with a with a bench press. I mean, can we see under his little no <clears throat> He says Corte, you're up. Go kick him in the dick. <laughs> so it's going to... Is it as big as the lizards? I'm a little worried. If it's as big as the ship, I'm gonna come out of the ship and be like, Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> that would be a wonderful turn of events. Reshi just starts I'm sorry, dating. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Reshi just starts dating Drizan. <laughs> like, hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> um, so, yeah, what are you guys doing? Drizan's picking up the spaceship. I'm going to get the hell out of the ship. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, basically. Okay, how are you going to try and use the <laughs> teleporter, or are you going to just go out the front door? Or the side door, technically? Um... Will the teleport te teleport back to the Ziggurat, or will it teleport to like a different level of the ship? Uh, both. Um. Well, if it's, it teleports you back to the Ziggurat, then I would just teleport back to the Ziggurat. So he see here's the ship, and there's a door. There's a door on the ship. Mm -hmm. you, can, you could leave. You could leave the ship. Yeah, we'd be right at his feet, basically. At the if we leave the ship by the side, right? I mean, he's picking it up. <laughs> You're going to be in the air. The door will open. And, you know, no, depending on how far he picks it up, you may be belly button, chest, face level, knee level. Who knows? I feel like anything we do towards him is not going to be good or productive. Can can I see him? Um. Yeah, you can kind of see him out of... Well, if you open the... Um, if you were to open the blast window on the windshield, you'd be able to see mm. him. Okay. The, uh, the cameras are facing, like, the back of the ship. Um, the, the ones that they act, the engineers accessed. They're kind of just, like, holding on for dear life as the ship is now moving, and they're like, oh, God! And they're just, like, holding on so they don't get, like, tossed around the ship. They're not I able like to, to, like, activate. I would like to try cast a spell here. Okay. I also have one in mind. So, I would yeah. like to cast Polymorph. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, you cast Polymorph on Drazan, and nothing happens as he resists your uh, spell. <laughs> Why does he resist it? Because he is very powerful and has something called Legendary Resistances, where he can choose to resist a spell. I I'm would like to him. cast Reduce on him. Mm -mm. He also resists that. <laughs> what? Yeah, he has multiple uses of the legendary resistance. Okay, everybody just spam spells at him until he doesn't get to do that anymore. <laughs> um. Well, you guys have uh, used your turn. Zolda and Reshi. <laughs> or I guess Reshi used her turn as well to close the door. Uh, Zoldan and, uh, <laughs> and Quothe, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to look at Zoltan and shrug. Oh, God. Fly out the door, uh, I guess. Well, guys, it was a good run. So you're opening the door again. Flying out the door. The do flying out the door. Yeah, you got, you're about nipple height on this guy. Um, yeah. The, uh, what's like a... Oh, you know those um those mono wheels, like those motorcycles that are just those like single wheel that you kind of like sit inside the wheel. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, so that that's about as big as his nipple rings. <clears throat> okay. Mono wheel. Well, yeah. <clears throat> well, since uh well then as I fly, can I take a like a swing at him? See if I can hit him as I fly. Yeah. Try to get away. Yeah. yeah. Make a swing. It. Make a swing on him. Probably not gonna do anything, but legendary resistance, all physical damage. A twenty-two. Uh, just fly up there and yank on the mono wheel nipple ring. That'll see, bring him down. I was gonna say if it hits, maybe I slice off the nipple ring. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough, a twenty-two oh does hit. Okay, it's a really big nipple. All right, it's kind of hard to miss <laughs> at this point. <laughs> well, then... you're actually slicing his nipple. Well, you said I'm at nipple height. I mean, it's you, right yeah, there. Yeah, you are. You are at nipple height. 
So, I mean, where's my... Um, Are we supposed to be rolling for initiative on this? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you a chance to do something, and then, uh, yeah, if we have to, roll initiative. I'm trying to figure out what spell I had. Maybe cast teleport? Do you have a teleport spell? So, what is that? I don't know. What, have... what is... Yeah, what is that? It's a lot of damage. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does the I don't think the the the, the repeated six for dueling style and paladin aura that doesn't that you only get that once, right? No, it's every time. Different attacks, yeah. And different attacks, yeah. I only see one twenty-two attack roll though. Well, no, that's part of it. When I yeah, attack, because the I, I, smite I, is part of it. Yeah, it's because the smite is a separate part. That's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. The, oh, the second time. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's two yeah, sixes there's... that are labeled as dueling style and paladin aura. <laughs> I think you only get one on one attack, right? Yeah, yeah. No, you're correct there. I didn't see that the second dueling style there. Yeah, it should only be that once. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So 10, 22, 33, 39, so 60, 40, uh, 45. Five. 45, 45 yeah. damage. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 45. Just tell me you cut off one nipple ring. Yeah, did uh, I slice off? You know what? Yes. You slice off one nipple ring and it the nipple ring falls and it's like <laughs> poof, and it like just sinks into the ground because it's so huge. It's, it's a giant golden nipple ring. So we're fighting Drozan now, who's 60 feet tall. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you want to go ahead, we're... and we're going to theater of the mind this, so we're going to need you to uh, roll for initiative. You're going to have to put your characters on this map. and Oh, this could uh, couldn't go much worse. Good. It can always be worse. It can always be worse. Fucking okay, I get the, always the worst in fucking fact, initiative. I'm insulted by your lack of confidence in me. I don't, I don't in know. your ability to make it worse? Yeah. I'm sure you could make it worse. I'm saying it can't get that much worse. I mean, the only thing worse is death at this point. I hate that 19. I hate that 19. Well, you can have my 5. I'll take your 19. You don't want to go first in combat. Don't play a character with a high dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> this is simple. Just don't play a high dexterity. Don't dex tell me what to do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't. He's right, though. Yeah, if you don't want to go first in combat, play a punk ass bitch. <laughs> That's fine. I'll play punk ass bitch. I'm gonna like a wizard. Cankle, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, fuck you!" And then he's gonna yeah, you him. just wait. You just wait. I'll be the fast wizard soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die right now. I'm gonna turn into a muscle wizard. I what cast fist. That? Like four million. Like I mean, seriously. I can't be that high. Okay, I'm sorry. It's four thousand. <laughs> not that far off i know i'm not that's why i don't understand why we're fighting him i just took a swing as i'm trying to escape no that's fine you rip off a nibble and then the rest of us yeah, die. Cut off his nibble. No, it's, fair. it's fair i get it i had it coming this week was not enough i'm just saying if you're trying to lift up a barbell and someone takes out a nipple you're probably going to drop the barbell I mean, it might hurt a little bit. The guy's 60 foot tall, so. I was hoping also that he would land on his toe. Yeah. His yeah we're fighting now. I got I got fight music. <laughs> Tough because it changed the scene. Yeah, we I'm got to do something fight. stupid if I'm the first one in the initiative. Fire! That's it. Uh, sending order. Reshi, you're first. Fuck, You're right there at the door. Zolan just flew out and chopped off this dude's nipple. His nipple ring fell to the ground, and you're standing in the doorway of the spaceship. 
as Jazan continues to lift it higher and higher so that he can see inside the spaceship itself. What you gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Uh, <clears throat> Boon of the Frozen Soul. Uh, you have immunity to cold damage. You can also cast Thunder uh, Wave DC 15 without causing, uh, without using a spell slot or any components. Cool. Uh, if I remember correctly, your Thunder Wave uh, actually does cold damage and not uh, thunder damage, given uh, the boon of the Silver Dragon. Um, so aim for the other nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you could try. I'm going to aim for uh, his You're eye. a little bit higher than no. nipple height now, though. I you're you're about uh, you're about clavicle level, like collarbone level. Will that Upper hit sternum his level. Eyes, his face? I want to hit something. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could use a key pain. point to, like, fly up to his face and just blast him in the face if that's what you want to do. Yeah, because I feel like if I take out his eyes, then I'm going to do something Ooh. that's worth something. I like at that. At this point. That's cool. All right. Uh, I believe Thunder Wave is a constitution saving throw. I don't know uh, what we talked about, but I'm, I'm, maybe. I'm just trying to remember. I'm going to say it's a constitution save just to keep this game rolling. Uh, he fails because I rolled a two. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a constitution high enough. Uh, let me just double check the actual stats here, because, you know. Is plus sure. 13 constitution? Yeah, that would be pretty gross. I mean, that's, that's why I'm fairly confident that that is when I not. Hit his yeah, he does not. Blind. He is not trained in constitution. If he was trained in constitution, we might get that high. But he's not. <laughs> uh, so it is, it's not, it, yeah. He does not pass the save. Uh, so Thunder Wave is how much damage? Uh, oh. It'd help if I spelled Thunder correctly. That's correct. <laughs> thunder, uh, Thunder, Thunder Wave! I'll say 2d8. Uh, roll 2d8. Cold damage for me. 2d8. 14. Uh, he takes 14 cold damage. Uh, it is not enough to really affect him, but he does kind of, as you hit him in the face. And he kind of, um, uh, he, he is, he is momentarily distracted. As uh, you blast him in the uh, face, you know he doesn't like it. Um, he uh, he is a he is a creature made out of fire, after all. So the the cold is not something that he enjoys. Um, your wings will fall, uh, will disappear, and you are going to fall. Um, you're gonna take. Oh, slow fall. Uh, your slow fall is fine. Like you reduce forty or forty-five damage now, so you're fine. Six d six is only a maximum of thirty-six anyway. So, okay. yeah, you gracefully fall to the ground as your celestial wings disappear. Um, bonus action dash action cast thunder wave. Use some of your movement. Um, it looks like we're moving on to tail. Uh, I'm going to cast Reduce on Drazan. Alright. Don't fail us. Come on, Sam. I guess technically, instead of just using my uh, <laughs> legendary resistances, I should try and actually resist it and see if I can resist it before deciding to use those things. Because <laughs> uh, I can use it. I can use it if I fail if I fail is basically I can choose to succeed. Um, but yeah. what's the, what do I have to roll for that? Now that I have his character sheet out and we're actually in combat. <laughs> DC 18. Thanks for the sweet, sweet new wand. I made as an artificer. But my 
punch. Uh, DC 18 what? <laughs> uh, I believe it's constitution. I'm going to double check here. That's yeah, constitution. You said 18? Yes, sir. Uh, he chooses to succeed on the saving throw. <laughs> I'm running out of these things. God damn it. I am going to con I'm going to count the two from before as as uses. So, there is that. But I'm running uh, out of these things fast. I'm going to swan dive out of the ship and cast with my reaction featherfall on all of us. Cool. Um Rowan, you feel lighter in the feet if you, you jump out of the ship. You should be okay to just float to the ground. Um, but uh, you do have a full turn here. So what you doing? Mm. Hey, you. What you gonna do? Uh. So if I um. If I hop down, where am I at in relation to him? Um, I mean, you'd be like near one of his feet. Okay. You'd get a real good view if you like looked up. <laughs> I uh, I feel like I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to hop down to the ground, look up. Mm -hmm. so he's got um you know the so his his uh his his um what do they call it his cod piece um is one of the it's just like a jock strap so it's got like the two straps that go around like underneath his butt cheeks but there's no uh -huh. back covering uh-huh so when you look up you, you see his butt crack I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm it's just real gonna... nice though. Like it's like made out of leather and like probably some nice animal fur around the edges for comfort. I don't think we need that much detail. So like... <laughs> I'm gonna look up. And I'm gonna yell over to Jazan. See some of his short and curlies poking out. Oh, God. God. <laughs> hey, just said you got a baby dick. <laughs> I'm gonna cast shatter. I'm gonna cast shatter. <laughs> cast shatter. Nice. Who's it called? Um, name? at Stracto, Level just three. Uh, message me after the show. I can give you all the details you want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you and your dumb constitution saves. God damn it. Um, a 12, though, on the die is enough uh, to pass that save. Um, so is Shatter, is Shatter a half as much damage on a successful? I don't remember. It says DC uh, 16 constitution save. Yeah, well, with his constitution bonus, he gets more uh, than a 16. Bonus, it puts him right at it. Well, it puts it more than 16. I'm not telling you what his bonus is. Okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, Takes half as much damage, yeah. Yeah. So I'm damage. using I'm using a different creature. Like, I didn't custom make him. Like, I am. I'm Basically, I'm using a modified monster that I found. And if I decide that I want to use the unmodified version of this monster later on, I don't want to, like, give away what the monster is by rolling from its actual character sheet. <laughs> I got you. No, that, that's uh, fine. You, you, you take half damage. Is Drazan wearing stone, crystal, uh, metal, or bone? Um, yes. Then Was he would have the disadvantage. Made? Oh, made. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, made of. Oh, he is not. As made. I was. I mean, he has bones. 
<laughs> he has bones. A non-magical object that isn't being worn or carried also takes the damage if it's an okay. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. well, he is magical. He is a yeah, yeah. This, girl. this. I by the way, this was this was shatter at his ball sack. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay. That's why. I looked nice. Up. Perfect. Um, yeah. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh shit. <laughs> is that? Oh yeah. Oh, I mean. I'm sure he's having a bad day now. Why did I roll a 10 on that? I completely... Hey, my first good roll of the night. Nice. Everybody gets a... Well, I don't think I'm in range of anybody that's within 10 feet, right? Uh, uh, yeah, you you're falling? all kind of spread out. Well, no, he's still, he's still flying up near the nipple. So with anybody within 10 feet of me, gets a plus four to their saving There's things. nobody within 10 feet of you. So. Quote's still in the ship. Rowan's still in the ship. Tail and Reshi are on the ground. Or wait, no. Rowan jumped out and he's on the ground as well. Um, and the sh you're here and the ship's like up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the distance is. Both they would probably be close, but not that close. Not the face, yeah. Uh, Joe's got a 19. Dean got a 17. Quote got a 10. Sangretti critical hit. And we're actually got a 10. Um, you guys are going to hate me for this, no, probably. No, it's fine. I, this week, that's fine. But, uh... I'm, I'm feeling it. Oops. We're all dead. I mean... If you kill Reshi, then everyone's going to hate you, so... What? Oh. I got a 21, mm -hmm. so I may be alive in a field of my friend's corpses. I think she's a fan favorite, maybe. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> Jobis, you're, you actually automatically succeed and don't get hit at all by this because you're flying. Uh, everybody else except for Tail takes 44 damage as, the sh as he drops the ship. So, Rowan's down there. He shoots Shatter at his balls. And much like Goro in the first Mortal Kombat movie, he's like, oh, and he drops the ship. <laughs> the ship falls. It lands on the ship lands on Reshi and Tail and parts of it flung out and hit Rowan. Quothe's in the ship. So even though you have slow fall, the ship smacks into you as you're falling slowly so you you still get hit by the ship because you're inside of it and get flung into the ground um sangretti because you are you got a you got a critical hit on that you take 22 as tail just hunkers down <laughs> as small as he can and lands like the door lands on you so you like go through the opening of the door but as the ship crumples in, you know, it's lost some of its momentum. You still get hit by the back wall of the ship. Um, and you're kind of like, you and Clothier are like trapped inside the ship. But it's like broken apart. Um, the engine now, it's, the energy is starting to like flood out from the ship. Um, and, and weird time shit is probably going to start happening soon. <laughs> So he threw the ship on top of me and I was on his face. Okay. You, your wings don't last, remember? They disappear okay. at the end of the round. Oh, and I fell. Okay. And you fell, which is why you used okay. slow fall. So you were on the ground. <clears throat> um, Drazan's turn. My bad. <laughs> comes up. Uh, he he is he is not happy uh, at he this. Back tapped a giant. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, Wait, so I took forty five also. You took forty four damage, yeah, as the okay. ship fell on you. Um, he is he is real mad. Um, the first thing he's gonna do, he can make two slam attacks. Um, he is going to first slam Rowan into the ground. 
Uh, Rowan, you take 60 force damage. <clears throat> He's dead. And then he is also going to slam the dude who cut off his nipple. I don't get to. I don't get to roll. Nope. No save. No attack. It. He just. It's automatic damage. <laughs> All right, guys. I am. Like I said, out. I think oh, either before shit. the show or during the break, I found a monster that doesn't need to roll to hit. <laughs> it's boss mode, bitches. Jovis, What's the damage? Zoldan, you get smacked out of the air like a little bitch. You take 60 force damage. You fly hurtling into the ground. It's like a cartoon. There's a little Zoldan-shaped crater that you're laying in now. Are you dead, Zoldan? What was it, 64 or 60? 60 force damage. Oh, force. 60, okay. Like necrotic, radiant, it's force damage. No, I'm not dead. Rowan's having a very rough day, though. Rowan's dead. I mean, he's not. Rocket out. roll! <laughs> I'm passed out. I mean, we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah, he's not, he's, dead, a, he's not dead. Dead. He's gonna be making death saving throws. Um, Quothe, uh, you took Quothe. 44 damage. You're trapped inside a spaceship. Uh, but there are like broken windows and stuff. You can like climb out of the spaceship. But you're okay, you're probably gonna... beat up a little bit. Are you even bloodied? Are you even at half HP? You have like a massive um, amount of HP. So. I'm just a hair above half. <laughs> it's um, been so much HP. I'm going to climb out the window and beseech the Sphinx to help us. All right. All right. The kitten? Yeah. The little, the little cat. The little kitten. The little girl. kitty cat. This is an animal abuser. Um, make uh, you know, I'll. What do you say? What? How do? How do you try and uh, ask the the Sphinx for help? I will tempt her with catnip. I'll make an offer of catnip. <laughs> okay. And I will raise the undead to scratch her whenever she needs it. Um. The you see uh, like over near the base of the ziggurat, she's a little bit away, but you kind of shout over. Uh, she hears you and kind of like weakly stands up because she was just hurtled like spiked like a football in the end zone. She was just spiked into the ground. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she kind of weakly like stands up on her on her little cat legs, um, and she says. I'll do my best to help you all. And then, like, weakly starts to flutter over on her, like, little baby wings. We're dead, guys. Um, oh, yeah, anything yeah. else you want to do? That's a free action to ask for help. So, um, not even going to need you to roll persuasion or anything because she's oh, on your side. Like, she, she's just, like, a toddler. <laughs> Finger of death. Okay. <laughs> Stick the finger in his ass. Like, do you have another? <laughs> now we're uh, getting into some Osrin territory here. What was that, Rachel? Do you have another crew set up after we die, or? <laughs> Sorry, one more time. The music was loud in my ears. Is there another crew you have set up after we die, or what's gonna happen? Oh, like... yeah, yeah. Don't no, worry. I've got crews for days. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah no, I get it. Um, I'm pretty I guess sure I'll run awesome over. age and substances will be, you oh, know, available. Yeah. And, like, yeah. I think I can convince Abstracto to come back, you know? After two um, years, I feel like that's fair. I might, you know, maybe Friend in, and, and Gen Tendo. I could probably get them to, like, fill, you know, come in. in. Yeah, no, so, yeah, yeah. I won't good. have any hard feelings towards you at all. <laughs> <laughs> fine. I get it. We suck. Plus. <laughs> Okay, um, Groundhog I'm going to, <sighs> shit, I don't know. Is there any way I can stabilize Rowan? Uh, do you have a healing potion? I do. That potion. Don't Just you have to boof it. it in this? Isn't that like a thing now? Yeah, that's, yeah. that is. I never said that. If you're unconscious, you get boofed. I never said that. <laughs> Yes. That's just how it is. 2021. 
Fuck it. That's, that's you just how it is. Texas? Are you a water or electric person? Because I get it. <laughs> okay, All I'm right. going to go over to Rowan and give him a potion. Try to stabilize him. So you, uh, you use your action to stabilize him. Um, you've is it is it just a regular healing potion? Because there's uh, I don't know. You just gave me regulars, didn't you, Zoltan? Yeah, we got regulars. Yeah, I just gave you a regular one. Yeah. All right, roll two d four plus two. Wait a minute, I have a superior. All right, that would be eight d four plus eight. Thirty one HP back to Rowan. Damn. That's a hell of a potion. <laughs> oh <Hell> yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> Uh, Rowan, you get 31 healing. Uh, nice. Quothe, you have, uh, you still have a bonus action. Um, and that's Thank probably you. about it. You probably, I think you say you used your movement to get over to, uh, to Rowan. Okay, I'm going to use his recovered state as a human shield, and I'm going to stand behind him. <laughs> All right. What you do? You take refuge behind the bard. Uh, Zolden is your turn. You have been hurled into the earth. You are prone and uh, probably beat up a little bit after taking 64th damage. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, since you picked up Zolden, one, two. I just, I love how he didn't heal his wife. He's like, no, let's heal somebody else. He was, literally. I mean, you're not <laughs> unconscious and dying, though. That's true. Okay, that's fair. Okay. But still. Also, Quoth is uh, not married to Reshi. Yet. Well, I'm, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all my lay hands on myself. To, to negate most of that damage. Okay. okay. That's 45 mm. points of healing? Yep. It's five times paladin level, if I remember. Yeah, it's 45. And then as my bonus action... Um, can I use this bonus action? Job, you have a fan in the chat of Captain Blue Eyes TV. Sup, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> um, so as I heal myself, I guess I'll cast. I don't have that anymore. I thought healing spells work. Oh. Is lay on hands bonus action or full action? It's a full action, unfortunately. So we need like healing word or something to keep yeah. healing. I thought I had it, but I forgot. Or you can drink a potion as a bonus action. That's what I can mean. No, that's... Actually, I'll prepare for maybe more. Oh yeah, Captain Blue Eyes, if you like uh, if you like villains uh this imagine this guy but way more buff and super saiyan hair and less tatters in his wings and spikes on his tail he has gone yeah, through some down. he's gone through a metamorphosis he's gotten more and more powerful every time they've <laughs> failed to stop the time loop <laughs> yeah i guess that's what i'll do i'll just drink another potion that's all i can really do and then i'll move i'll move um i think it they're all we're all kind of grouped together or I mean, like Rowan and all Reshi and stuff. So I'll kind of fly. Yeah, they're all after. kind of around. They're you know within twenty, like a twenty feet of each other. Yeah. Any one of them, they're going to be grouped together. Um, 
I mean, you know, Rowan and Quothe are like right next to each other. And Reshin and Tail are kind of around. You know, they're, they're a little spread out. I'll play her to be next to Reshi then. I'll be near her so she can at least get the mm -hmm. bonus from the aura protection. Thank you. That's what I can that's all I can do right now. That's it for me. Sorry, oh I'm, I'm making fun of Chad in the chat. <laughs> Captain Blue Eyes says, Speaking of hair, if you like hair, Genie. If you don't, Jobus. And I said, nah. If you don't like hair, you look at Chad, because he's a bald D20. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no, there's no hair on that die at all. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Zolin, you you heal up, and on... I gotta roll for my... What's the normal pushing again? Sorry. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. If you are drunk, this ain't ready. <laughs> so seven more. Okay. Yeah, and if you're a Rainbow Six champ, then uh, Rachel. Yeah, because I'm really good at the game. Suck it. And if you're uh, Wendy's cheeseburger, you're me. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming at all, man. I just, just out here chilling and all. Because I don't Wendy cut corners. Because I don't cut corners. Um, you get seven more healing with the potion, and uh, the top of the round, the the uh, sphinx kind of flaps over, um, and um. As Drazan is protesting, he's like, no, this isn't how it's supposed to happen. You see the little toddler um, of, a, of a sphinx land right over the cracked engine core and just take the deepest breath possible, sucking in all of this time energy into their bodies. Um, you guys see as like almost like a spirit link between the Sphinx and Drazan. You're not sure what that's all about. This is the first time you've seen that. Um, but as she s inhales all of this time gas, you see her grow into like an adolescent uh, Sphinx, kind of the like one stage of the time uh, warp ago. And you see Drazan's hair kind of fall back down into its, like, dark blue. Um, the spikes on his tail and, like, up to, up and down his back kind of recede into his body as he kind of shrinks down a little bit. And then she says, You're on the right track, heroes! If you can keep this up, we may win this day yet! And as she launches at Drazan's face... A big flash of white happens. You guys are returned to the temple grounds. The spaceship is gone. Oh my gosh. She and Drazan are fighting at the top of the temple again. Oh. And this is where we say through critical hits and critical fails, these are the Osrid Tales. Thanks. For playing, everybody. Thank you. Oh my god. We need to Jeff. find. We need to find someone to. Ra hey, listen. Yeah. Hey, I think I saved our lives there. You're lucky that you uh, you ended it there because I was about to frostball his nuts again and start making <laughs> shrinkage jokes. It was the next step. Oh, nice. Like literally. Oh, that's said, really fun. on the right path, only real damage I saw was somebody sack tapping the giant, which means freeze the giant's nuts is the right path. So, well, cutting nipples off too was a lot of damage. Yeah, that's true. True. I forgot about the nipple cutoff and the, the whole uh, blinding him thing. I just want to go over something real quick. Your spell scroll used, your potions used your spell slots used your hp does go back to full mm -mm. what what 
we all go back in time? What about that's, my land? You know, hands? That's not terrible. Not I all of the time of energy up. was used to send you guys back in time this time. Some of that time energy was used to power up the Sphinx creature. What do I get for being an evil vape queen, apparently? So how does that affect my land hands then? Um, uh, this is basically like pallet. Well, no, paladins have spell slots. Yeah, but that's uh, not gonna, come from, that I'm doesn't thinking... come from a spell slot. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, but it's like it's like a resource that I feel like is different than HP. Um, uh, I don't know. 50 50 chance. Roll a d20. If you get an even number, it recharges. If you get an odd number, it uh, it doesn't. Let's see. Because I don't know how to rule it, and leaving it up to the die seems good to me. Hey, it's an odd number. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> uh, but Drusansa is powerful now. So, I, I will say. I won't be using that modified creature stats anymore. I will be using a different creature stats next time. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> uh, I mean, you should feel better because the next creature I'm using does not have an auto hit ability for 60 damage. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. That Note to self, Prescue uh, bubbles. So, you know, it's going to pop out the cork. <laughs> that's, that's what just happened that's what I was like just sitting here and just popped out there <laughs> Sam Granny's got a ghost <laughs> apparently a ghost who likes to get drunk alright <laughs> <laughs> that's like the best kind of ghost manifested into an evil vape queen alright everybody let's go around the table here Rachel what you got going on this week absolutely nothing i love you guys i have nothing going on if i Hell stream yeah. you'll be it'll just be a thing it'll be a random thing everybody just oh wait you know thing. what i need to do hold on a sec uh control a and cut the raid command but i need to hit players <laughs> yes so you can go follow everybody on the team here uh say ready what's our movie this week uh, this week we're going to do uh, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Hell yeah. I just literally, two nights ago, uh, Stratto and I watched uh, Mortal Kombat. So if that's the first movie, I think I'll actually be able to see Annihilation uh, when uh, when you play that right afterwards. Because I'm usually eating dinner during your first movie. Uh, Gina, bro, what do we got going on this week? Who knows? <laughs> you no, gotta go um, pick on that stream schedule so we can all subscribe to you on Twitch. Yeah, look, I told no <laughs> one to to do that. No, um, I'm working I on. I got a call from another... Bane. He said everybody's supposed to subscribe to you at tier three. Shit. Um, I I, I subscribed to his newsletter. Be, this week should be a lot of random stuff. I don't know. I'm I'm working on the um. I'm working on the next interview for the for the cast and um i gotta do some editing this week i'm working on some youtube content that uh that podcast is out so if anybody wants to do the podcast oh yeah um that's on my youtube channel you can literally just type genie brian on uh youtube and it'll be there feel free to toss that uh, link up in the chat there so they can find your youtube channel I don't have a custom URL yet. I mean, I don't either. Everybody, everybody who's here, go subscribe to Genie Bros YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, because we need to get to a hundred subscribers so we can get a custom URL. No, seriously, like I'm not even. That's not even a joke. It's fucking pitiful. <laughs> Genie Bros Lunch Grinder TV. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, Chad, what are you doing this week? <laughs> <laughs> doing the same old stuff uh r6 watching, watching grinder.tv apparently yes watching genie's uh only fans things like that, that that's that's the only way that's the I mean, best only fan is only fans.com slash genie bro i mean it is real it's a thing there are there's, <laughs> there's at least a picture maybe, maybe there'll be more soon <laughs> who knows 
Yep. So uh, oh, yeah. between uh, sub and for Genie Topics and stuff like that, uh, probably just going to run some R6, uh, same old stuff. Nice. Might jump back into Valheim. They just did a big update. Um, that's it. I'm kind of just waiting for the new Resident Evil to come out. New Resident Evil, huh? You live yep. it. I didn't even You're know there was cool. an old All right, Resident Evil. Here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Jobus, how's how's life? What what do you got going on just in general these days? Not much, not much. Just hanging. I'm actually thinking about maybe start streaming when the new R6 season starts. Do Ooh. some R6 stream. Nice. I think that's in a few weeks or so. But, uh, Very cool. It's not it. It's all Chad's fault. It's all Chad's fault. Well, you know, you have at least one fan in our chat. So, I mean, I'm sure Captain Blue Eyes is going to be excited if you do stream sometime soon. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then for me, guys, we're rapidly heading towards our midseason break here. Um, the 13th of March um i believe chad and rachel you guys are going to be on vacation and we are going to be doing uh a one-page adventure called crash pandas um we're going to be getting some people organized for that but anybody who's who doesn't know what crash pandas is you guys are raccoons who try and drive a car together in a post-apocalyptic world Trying to chase down a garbage truck to get that sweet, sweet garbo. Uh, and the way that works is everybody messages the game master privately. Uh, whether you want to accelerate, brake, turn left, turn right, use an item, or do some other random action. And uh, the game master kind of calculates all of that. So, like, if one person says left, the other person t says right. And those two things cancel each other out and you go straight, right? Um, that kind of thing. So you guys don't know what other, everybody else is doing. The DM kind of calculates it all and narrates what happens. It is ridiculous fun. Uh, so we're going to be doing that on the 13th. But we've got two more weeks for this for our heroes to solve my time puzzle. Uh, so we'll see if they can do that. Um, you can go to my link tree down there in the chat. You can find my YouTube channel as well on the link tree. Um, guys, Jeannie and I, we both have podcasts. Two different podcasts. If you like podcasts, you should find our podcasts. Um, podcasts I'm gonna, so hot right now. Yeah. They're right? actually pretty good. I'm, I'm not trying to talk them up. They are. They're good. I I have heard. So I have heard there's at least one person who has binged all of the episodes of Thought Balloons, which makes me really happy uh, <laughs> that someone likes it. Uh, a lot uh abstract the 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 code for just the podcast is podcast not podcasts plural and it only links thought balloons but um <clears throat> maybe i should add double maybe i should add plural and have a link to genie's podcast as well no 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 please uh, <laughs> but uh <laughs> hashtag uh why aren't all my words coming <laughs> exactly uh but yeah if you guys do uh like the podcast um, I'm going to plug my Patreon because, you know, I want to plug my Patreon. I never do that. For as little as $1, you guys, if you join my Discord and you're a Patreon supporter for $1, there's a secret channel there where you can ask questions that I and my guest will answer on Thought Balloons. Um, so, you know, there's that. You also get my blog and a bunch of other shit. There's higher tier rewards. Uh, the top the top tier gets to see my scripts for my comic books and give me feedback if that's something you're interested in. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know what I do. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I do art and creative things. I'm now full on with two big projects. I'm going to be working on the art for Spaceship Zero, and I'm working on a potentially 48-page comic fantasy western stuff for the All Haven game. Um, so I'll be doing that during the week and then we do this here on Saturday nights. So we're going to, uh, we're going to raid into Thaco's channel. Drag is in the dining room. Uh, thank you all so, so much for hanging out with us this week. We will see you next week for another time loop extravaganza. 
now that our players know how to actually get to fighting Drazan and uh, potentially uh, know how to get the time loop going in their favor with our Sphinx creature absorbing the time energy instead of Drazan, maybe it'll become easier and faster and stuff as time goes on. Who knows? I sure don't. We'll find out together next week. Have a week, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take it easy. And we're clear.